Welcome back to Copperhead Customs, and welcome back to a new episode. Something different. Huh? What do you think? Will it run? Woohoo! So, this is a 1964 Triumph 2000, but it has had the 2.5 litre motor put in it. Now, these are meant to be freaking badass to drive they meant to handle really really well they're light and for their size they're pretty high powered with the 2.5 in them so the plan is first we will unload it then we will assess it and then we will see if we can get it to start what do you think drop your comments do you like it and can we get it to run We'll do a bit thorough walk around as soon as I get it off the trailer. Reaper. All right, guys. Here it is. So, uh, what do we think? It's got a little bit of rust here and there. Uh, nothing we can't fix. So, as you can see... The back of our bonnet's pretty bad, and our little rat support needs some attention. Uh, we've got a little bit around the window here. The bottom of that guard's a bit, and the inside there's a little piece on, you can see in there, there's a little bit. Um, there's some rust around it, see, it's around the window, a little bit in the door, same on this guard, it's got a little bit, the bottom of that one's pretty good. Overall it's pretty good, there's a little bit in that driver's floor. The interior is pretty neat. I've got it opened up because it smells, it's been wet, so it smells a bit mouldy. As you can see, just on the tunnel there, we've got a little bit in there. Um, now I have all, all this, I'll just wait and show you that, but we have a heap, we've got a little surprise for it as well. Come with it. So you can see it still had the plastic on the rear door cards. Um, the rear floors are good. Is that a freaking snake shit? I think I've got to get old snake boy over here to check this out. And it looks fresh. Alright, I'll be back. I've got to ring him up. Back. That was definitely a snake. The fresh one. So I've actually, as you can see, I've got a heap of stink things in there he's not in there he's a decent size he's like a python or something he's a decent size one that was fresh done this morning or in the middle of the night that crap was so he's zushed off somewhere for the day but this car stinks see because it had rats and shit in it so I've just got heaps of smellies. I've thrown a freaking smelly. I've sprayed heaps of stuff in there so that it smell it doesn't smell like rats. It smells like perfume because they if he sticks his head back in that car, he won't like the smell and he'll bugger off. So hope he's not in there now. He's buggered off somewhere for the day, but I don't want him coming back in here. So we don't know where he is. We've had a good look around. We cannot find him. We've looked in the shed. Our possums are still in the shed. And they are not bothered, so that would mean he's not in the shed. But as you can see, I've, I've got smellers going everywhere in here too. So the shed doesn't... Well, the, the good thing is, is we don't have a rat problem because I bait so hardcore, okay? So a lot of the other properties around here have issues with them. We don't because I bait hard. So we don't have a food source for him. So that's the thing with snakes. Snakes hang where there's a food source. So that's why they he was in this car because their bloke we got it from had rats and Stephen said he had rat problem and this was rat infested car. So there was a food source here. So unfortunately we brought the we either brought the snake here or he was cruising past and smelt this big stinking rat trap. So we've got that de smelling. So that he won't go back in there. 
I've got to go out, but when I come home, well, as you can see, we've got rat nests in there. We're going to go through, we're going to clean all this crap out, clean the car, vacuum it. I might even pressure clean it in there, I don't know. I think we've got to pull the front seats out to get underneath them to clean all that out. So we've got to de-stink it so it doesn't stink like death anymore. Then that's makes I don't want to come back, all right? So he could be out here somewhere, but as you can see, the birds are not going crazy. So if he was around and the birds knew, the birds would be going nuts. So fingers crossed he has moved on. <laughs> fingers crossed because I freaking hate them. You do not know how petrified I am of these things. I am absolutely petrified of them. I've got the heebie-jeebies. I'm at the point where I don't even know if I want the car now. <laughs> How bad I hate them. I've got so we've looked at the car, he's not in the car. But he was in the car. He was in the car through the night. We are hundred percent. So anyway, let's have a little look over it. <laughs> right, so it's a six cylinder, two point five litre six cylinder. That's what I was saying. These things are meant to go. So as you can see the fuel line here is disconnected. We've got twin carbs, twin little strongbergs. So the first thing we're going to do after I've cleaned it all and destunk it is we're going to uh, hook up some fuel and see if we can get it to run. Uh, we'll check the oil and all that, but yeah, we've got some rust. We've got to fix. We're definitely going to have to fix the rust around this bonnet. Do something, reinforce this a bit. Uh, we've got a couple of rust holes in the floor that we'll probably address. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the body. We're not painting it. We're just going to have it ready at this stage, I think. So I don't even know how much we're going to do on the rust side of the body. At this stage, the plan is we might hit it with the, as you can see, this will actually, so we might actually polish it. We might polish the paint that's there. I don't think we're going to do anything with any of this. We might actually just put some, um, some rust treatment on it to stop it for now. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We may grind it in and do some patina paint work on it. I'm not quite sure yet, but we're definitely, I think we'll polish it up. Uh, we'll get all the broken, ripped crap out. Um, clean it. See if we can get it running. We'll give it, basically give it a detail. Um, now in the car, I have all the woodwork. It's all been French polished. All the wood trims are done. What I think we will do though is we will we'll do something with these seats. Whether I recover them in red leather or whether I uh, we do some Mexican blankets or something. I don't know. I will have to think about that. I might actually just make up. Uh, so the the rear seat base is good. The top of the the top of this one's gone. So you know we could actually yeah I don't know. We'll think about what to do there. Um, the front seat's a bit ratty, <laughs> literally. But yeah, we've got to get these seats out and clean underneath them because there'll be some rat nests in down there, I'd say. So that's my plan, I think, is we'll just get it running. Do a, We'll try to get that running this, this episode. We'll try to get it clean inside, and we'll try to get it running. All right, so there's a big load of waffle, but I've got my freaky pants on because of the snickerdies. I don't like those snickerdies. We've got some extra parts in the boot. Yeah, but see, i got smellies everywhere, and the snake ain't going to like them, I'm telling you right now. So, anyway. <sighs> Freaked out today. Anyway, Reaper. We are back. So, I've uh, pulled the seats out, and vacuumed all the rat nests out, and we've uh, vacuumed all the interior. I haven't pulled the front seats out yet. I'll do that tomorrow. But we've pulled all the crap out. Still stinks, but it's getting better. We pulled all the parts out of the boot, vacuum the boot. I'm just setting up the pressure cleaner now. And we will pressure clean it. I don't actually know what we did this morning, but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pressure clean the motor too, who cares? We'll give that a quick squirt. Let's give it a once over and uh, make it look a little bit nicer. I think if you have a look here, this will come up. With the polish, this paint's going to look good. So that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to polish this up. I think we're going to ratter. We're just going to have a ratter. We'll polish it up, make it look a bit better. I don't know. We'll see what we do. So anyway, 
I'm not going to show you what's going on in the shed. Hopefully you didn't see it. Because that's for another episode. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, just dropped in quickly. Uh, so, yes. We're going to pressure clean the outside tonight. Then I'm going to drop some more smelly stuff in there. And then um, tomorrow I'll pull those front seats out. I think I'm just going to pressure clean the inside and get the last remnants of the carpet and crap out of it. And um, then we'll go from there. We'll start, um, we'll give the seats a good clean and detail and smelly and we'll get in and detail the inside of it and uh, get some product onto everything. Try to clean everything, you know, like we got mud wasps there and crap. So yeah, we'll give it all a whoosh and get it smelling better and get the snakes out of it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, you gotta love it, don't you? We love snakes here. Yeah, no, we don't. Anyway, I'm gonna get on that quickly and I'll call back when I've cleaned it. Reaper. Right, we've hooked up a little fuel tank just straight into the carby so I don't know we'll see if it's gonna work or not we just tried to crank it over oh, sorry I should have done it with you but I just hooked up the jump pack and it turned straight over real nicely so yeah we've just got a little gravity feed fuel coming in we haven't put any in the in the bowls or nothing so let's have a little look ski eh <laughs> I might need to put some down the bowls. See if I can reach this. Hold you, do everything. <laughs> Alright. Bear with us. I'll be back in a minute, I think. Oh, I don't know, but I think... I think this is... We'll pour some down here, I think. don't know what they are. I don't know if we should pour. I think we'll pour some down there. See what happens. I don't know. I don't really know how to fill these suckers up. Um, oh, bear with me for a minute. I'll come back. All right, back. All right, I got fuel down to the carbies. Uh, I just pulled the dizzy cap off, check for spark. And we had spark. And uh, we had a bit of moisture because, of course, I just pressed clean the motor. So we had a little bit of moisture in the dizzy cap. I just towed that out. So we'll try again. And let's see. I've got a feeling uh, it's going to fire. Let's have a look. Huh? Come on now. Seriously. Unbelievable. Let's have another look at this dizzy cat. There's a little bit of moisture in there. Let's get a let's get rack. Let's try that out again. Pretty dirty. Now, oh, fingers crossed, let's try it again. 
smell the fuel's up. So, unless we flooded it. Tried. <laughs> Maybe it's flooded or just got weak spark, I think. <laughs> it's not happy. Alright, jump pack dead. We'll have to charge that up overnight. Get this running. I don't know if you heard that little kick it gave. So anyway. We we'll run. We'll run that. We'll get it running tomorrow. Alright, Reaper. We are back. Just clean the points up. Let's have a crack and see. We'll just put some more fuel in it. It'll drain out overnight. We'll just throw some fuel down there and see. What it has to say for itself. And our little fuel tank. Trying. Doesn't choke. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey. There's the fuel pump pumping shit out. What do you think of that? Probably want a container for that, don't we? Definitely wants the choke running. Great, but it's definitely running. <laughs> what do we think of that? It's a runner. That. Bit of a backfire. Let's see what happens if we get rid of that choke. No, it definitely wants to choke. It's gonna run out of petrol now.
Oh well. She ran. She ran. Alright, well, I think we will end that video as a success. We got it running. Drop your comments, what should we do with it? Now we've got it running, should we fix it? Should we get it to drive? Clutch pedal doesn't feel great, we have to check all those fluids. Drop your comments, what do we do with it? Do we fix it? Do we piss it off? I think we've got to give it a polish. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. As you can see, I look like a blue smurf. Check that out. Reaper. Yeah, so, there's a little bonus for those of you that stuck around, is, uh, just gave a quick little cut, not perfect, not finished, just to see what the paint will do, eh, not bad, is it, before and after, so I do have a plan for this, I do have a plan, I've actually worked out a plan, I think what I'm going to do, I'm not getting carried away, can't set the price yet, of what we're going to put this in, it's going to be two to three thousand, though, I think. Actually, I'll fill you in. I might as well fill you in. Those of you that stuck around will fill you in on what the plan is. So, the plan is this is what's in my head at the moment. I'm not going to go cut and rust out. We're just going to patch the floors. I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to cut them out. I'm just going to put some tin in, seal them up, put some aluminium sheets, seal them up for now. Someone wants to do all the rust repairs later on, they're welcome to do that. But at this stage, I'm not going to do it. We may do it at a later date. We may not. I'm going to sit down. So, uh, at this stage, we're not going to do any rust repairing. Okay? We're going to polish it just to make the paint look a bit more presentable, less faded. Okay? It looks a bit shamier. Uh, we're going to just patch up those floors in there. We're going to get a piece of carpet and put a piece of black carpet in it. Okay, I'm going to try to find some tartan. I don't know if you know what tartan is. Tartan is like uh, Scotsman's wear kilts. Well, that's tartan, right? So we're going to try to find some tartan in black, red and grey. Okay. Now, if you would have seen the back seat here is ripped on the top but the rest of it's good yeah so we're going to put a piece we're going to put it on the back there and have a piece of tartan and it's just probably going to go to like here okay across there or sew a nice end on it the base is good so we're not going to do nothing with the base on the front seats and then we're also going to put a piece of tartan on this parcel shelf okay and then the front seats, well, the base over there definitely has to be done. So we'll put, we'll make like a tartan seat cover type thing for the base. And maybe the, we'll see, we'll see about the back, what I can do with that. I'd like to keep the backs open. But at least on that seat, I don't know, we'll probably do them both. And then I'm also thinking we'll put a piece of tartan across the dash. Okay, if we can. All right, so black carpet in there, the tartan, all the red leather. Surprise, I haven't shown you the surprise yet. We'll put all the we'll put all the surprise in. I'll fill you in. All the wood. It's got all the woodwork, which I think runs everywhere. I don't know exactly where it runs, but across the dash, all that. So we've got all the nice woodwork across the back there too, I think. I think it might run across the doors. It's all been done, so we'll put all that in. Okay, we just cut out there. I don't know. So the last thing I think we've seen, I was in here. So yeah, we'll give the uh We'll tizzy up the steering wheel, make all that all look nice. I think that will just come up with a good clean. So we'll just clean it all. Like I said, carpet, bits of tartan, clean all the leather. Interior should look 
Good. We should make the, we'll make the interior look very presentable on a very cheap budget. In the engine bay, this is what we're going to need to do. We're probably going to have to rebuild these carbies because it would only run in with the choke. So we'll rebuild those carbies. We'll give it a full service. So we'll do an oil change, oil filter, uh, new points, probably a new dizzy cap, uh, maybe new leads maybe and plugs. We'll definitely need plugs, new coolant, all of that malarkey. We'll make sure we'll get this fuel filter working. Our fuel, fuel pump it was pumping a bit there, remember? So we don't know. It mightn't have any petrol in it. So we'll get that happening. Hopefully that works. Uh, and then we'll look at the clutch. We've got to bleed the brakes and the clutch and slave cylinder might have to be rebuilt. All right, so that's what I'm thinking. Throw a battery in it. We'll check the tyres out. I'm not sure what size they are. Let's have a little... I don't know if they're 13s or 14s. If they're 14s, we are in luck, and they are 13s. I'm not sure if I've got any 13s. They look pretty ratty. I think they're pretty ratty. So we'll see what we got, if we've got some 13s or not. Otherwise, we'll get some tyres on it. That will suck. That will blow our budget a bit if we have to buy tyres. That will blow That will suck if we have to buy tyres. So, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, hopefully the fuel tank's okay. So then uh, that way we'll have it running and driving nicely. That's the plan. Get it running, driving nicely. Get all the electrics working, all that malarkey. Uh, tune the motor, all that. Tizzy up the interior. Like I've just said. All we're going to do to the outside is we're just going to do that. We're just going to give that a polish. It looks quite presentable to me, I think. Who cares about the rust? We're going to have it ready, all right? And then we'll take it out, drive it, see what we think. If we want to keep it, if we don't, uh, we'll go from there. If we decide to keep it, then we'll probably look at doing the rust. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we're just going to make it present it nice, get it as a run driver, and then present it nice. So I honestly believe, depending on what, you know, it cost me a thousand bucks, I'll tell you right now. The car cost me a thousand dollars. Uh... Depending on the tyres, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm thinking uh, interior one to two hundred dollars in the interior is what I think, and the motor well we're probably looking at a one fifty for the rebuild the carbies. Um, yeah, we've got to allow a thousand bucks at least I think to get all the in the mechanics. So I honestly believe I don't know we'll be pushing to push it as a two grand build. I think it's honestly going to have to be, we're going to, I think I'll just say now three grand build, and if we can do it cheaper, we will. All right, here's the plan. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it for a thousand. We'll try. We will definitely try. But, you know, tyres, we'll be up to three, we'll be 300 bucks in tyres if we have to, if I can't find any. So that's the plan, I think, guys. I think it's going to be a three grand build. I definitely think by the time we put a battery in it and all that, we have three grand build. We'll get it running, driving good. And uh, we'll clean the interior, make it presentable, make it so it doesn't stink like you know what. And uh, yeah, we'll get it so that it's watertight inside. So we'll actually, like, we we're not going to cut the floors out. I'm not going to do it, not at this stage. But we'll just fold up some, we'll just fold up some, some tin and basically, let's just probably silicon it in. Well, through the floor, through the holes, get some carpet in so it's watertight, get some carpet back in it, and uh, I think that's that'll be us. All right, so you've already got your repar dance on this one, I'm pretty sure. So we'll say thanks for watching. With a bonus for you, tell us what you think about the little Triumph. And remembering this is a 2000, 1964 2000, but it's got the 2.5, so it's got the 2500 motor in it. So apparently, if you know anything about these, Drop some comments. Apparently they're meant to be badass. They're meant to absolutely fly. Power to weight. It's meant to be off its head. So, uh, you heard it. It sounded pretty beastly. So anyway, and, whoo, check that out. It's bright, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going in, have dinner, and I will see you next time I'm looking at you. Reaper.